That's right. We talked with the officer over the telephone, and he told us none of this happened on purpose. But officials tell us the dogs were locked up in a separate room with no food or water long enough for one of them to die. These pictures obtained exclusively by Channel 11 are heartbreaking. Ribs showing on this Rottweiler, his name Nico, barely alive, just 50 pounds when animal control took these pictures. This brown dog didn't make it. Officials found him dead inside this Elwood City house. They charged the homeowner, Eric Squeakero, a white township police officer. A family member found the dog. She didn't want her face or name on TV. I do think he had a horrible death, and I have no idea how long they were living like that because from the information I was given, they were being treated very well. Eric, the officer, told me over the phone he's going through a bad divorce. The dogs were his wife's. She had a key and was supposed to feed them. He says he works 12-hour days and was trying to find the animals a new home. Still, animal control says this scene was disturbing and a crime. He didn't say he did it on purpose, you know. He just said he didn't have time to take care of the dogs and he had no help with them. Did he seem sorry that one of them was dead? No. No. He actually made a statement he didn't care what happened to the dogs. This is video of the one who made it, eating a day after he was found. Officials can't believe he pulled through. The animals are the greatest. You know, I, it was pretty rough. Now, cruelty to animals is the charge. We are told it is a misdemeanor, and we are told this will not affect the officer's employment. Reporting live, Amy Marcinkowitz, Channel 11 News.